Hey, welcome back everyone to Cars with Ben and in today's GTA video we're going to be going over the new Grotti Brioso 300 which, yeah, I think I've got that right, is the new Fiat 500. Now this car, if you don't know, is an original Fiat 500 kind of knockoff but it is practically, for all intents and purposes, the same car. I mean they've pretty much got the styling bang on. So as you can see it's zero dollars for a limited time only so go and pick yours up. It will become paid literally within a few days, a bit like the go-kart that just came out. Uh, I was super excited to make a video on today's today's car because this one has been the one I've been looking at most. I wanted to drive it most. It's so awesome. I'm going to do a, a full in-depth review, so let's get started. So as you can see, it's uh, pretty much the way it opens. You can see it's got a little boot. It's got a cool little engine, which is at the back. Um, it's only two doors, so... As a small car, so as you can imagine, it's going to be pretty slow. However, I think it's going to be just so much fun, you know, having this car driving around. As you can see, it's a snowy Los Santos at the moment. So if you haven't already logged in, you will know that it's now the snow season for Los Santos, um, which is a good and bad thing. It makes it difficult in missions. But anyway, let's jump straight back into the car. So I've got an orange interior, I thought I'd go for orange because it was a bit of a unique cool colour for it, very kind of flary. First thing you'll notice is that it is pretty slow and I don't think it was ever going to be the fastest but it doesn't matter because it's so much fun to drive, it's kind of like a little, it's very similar to the Mini that was released a few years ago. Uh, it's pretty much just the same handling and the, you know performance is pretty much the same. Let's go and get it customised and see what happens. So I'm pretty excited to customise this car, um, hopefully you are too when you get it. Let's run through some of the options. So armour, obviously you've got the standard armour, let's have a look at bodywork. So bodywork, you can remove all the trim, I haven't done so because I feel like it's cool with the trim, it looks authentic, so I've left that as standard, which I think is pretty, you know, you've got to have the trim. Brakes, bumpers, so there's a lot of bumpers for this, I, I had a lot to choose from and to be honest you could go all day with these cars. I think I'm going to go for like a rally look because that is so authentic, so Italian and the little lights at the front, the four lights which are fantastic. Not much change in the rear bumpers so you can pretty much keep those the same, I've, I've left it really, especially for $14,000, quite a lot of money. Going into engines, you can change the engine which is cool so I've just completely changed the engine. Um, it looks a bit better now. Definitely an upgrade will be needed on this speed. We'll leave that for now. Okay, ex exhaust. So I'm going to go for a twin. Some of them quite limited, but I will keep it like that because I think it looks pretty good. So looking at some of the fenders, we'll go for... Yeah, we'll go for some colour ones. They're pretty cool. And uh, yeah, if you, if you want, guys, you can get this right now. Also... The hoods on the back, so the engine actually opens, if you don't know, on a original Fiat 500 racing, the engine actually does open. So that's how it was sold, with the boot up, and then you could just look into the engine. So there was a lot of cool options with that, I think that's really awesome. Xenon lights, of course, naturally you've got to have those, and library is very important. So I think this time I will try and go for a library, but I'll leave it, because I'm not sure which one at the moment. So a lot of choice in libraries, lot, basically a lot of customization in this Fiat 500 or Grotti Brio, so, so super excited to use it. Definitely go and grab yours for free while you can. This is your message to do so now. Um, it is a bit snowy out on Los Santos, so it does makes it a bit of a pain to drive, but you know. Alright, roofs. So we've got a selection of roofs here, guys. I quite like the little roof racks, so we'll go with that. Sun strips, I can't see already, so I'll leave that. Suspension, dropping it completely, you have to drop a car completely on this. Hoods, not much there, but I thought I'd leave it. You can, As you can see, there's just absolutely tons of stuff you can do. And we'll finish it off with the wheels, which I think, you, you know, there's so many choices again. I've gone for muscle, so I was debating between the two, but I thought I'd go for the possible spooner ones, maybe and then put them in black, which always looks good. But again, this car suits pretty much any customization, which is great. I think it'll be good in shows, and in terms of speed, I'm sure someone, for me, it's just an aesthetic car. It looks amazing. 
But yes, definitely really enjoyed making this car today. If you have liked this video, uh, do consider leaving a like and subscribe because I'm making a lot of GTA content and car content at the moment on Cars with Ben. All right, so let's review it now that it's customized. But to be honest, it won't be much different. It just looks a lot better. I saw this in the heist, so if this car is actually first uh, seen in the heist, so they kind of teased it, and now they've released it, which and for free as well for 600k. I thought it was going to be paid, but for 600k, I am very happy with this car. Well, well, for free, sorry, I'm very happy. Even then, um, a great purchase. So, really would recommend buying this car while well, you can because I don't I don't know why Duke Rocks are being so nice so not only are you going to get snow and the Fiat 500 original but yeah there you go hope you enjoyed this video if you have leave a like subscribe I'll see you guys in the next video peace